welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing just a, oh, I'm going to be honest, this video is a bit of a shit show. I'm just playing with some new makeup that I have, um, testing some stuff out, having some mistakes and fixing them, mostly fixing them. But hopefully this video is entertaining or you can learn something from it. So if you want to see how I got this look, then let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Well, hello. I've already done my brows. I have primed my skin with just my Smashbox primer and I've primed my eyelids with the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer and have set it with some translucent powder. So I'm having a little family get together here in a few hours. So I wanted to throw on some makeup, go ahead and turn on the camera. I wanna play with the new, um, this is a Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions. It's like these small little cool palettes with these beautiful warm toned shades. I don't plan on doing anything too crazy and dramatic, but I have a feeling it will probably go that way just because these shades, they're pretty deep and I'm pretty fair skinned. So all these are going to be very rich on my skin. So I'm going to go in with this lighter kind of mid-tone brown shade on a Morphe M532. I've been trying to do my brows like more natural. It's just not like what I'm typically into, but I'm trying to work at it. So I might have like a weird time with my brows for a while, so bear with me. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with the wee bit darker shade. It's gonna be a little bit more warm brown. I'm gonna tuck it a little bit more into the crease. Let me get you, scoot you closer. Ugh, don't be afraid. For this one, I'm using a Morphe M441. My hair is wet right now, so this is not a cute look for me, just so you know. I add a little bit more of that second shade we used into the crease, because I really do like this shade. It's really pretty. So how do you guys feel about like warm tones? Because I know pretty much every single palette that comes out is warm tones, and that's why I don't buy a lot of palettes, because not that I don't like them, but I have enough. Um, so what do you guys think? Like, do you think that's just like a phase? Is everybody going to be down with cool tones? Like in 2000, you know, 19 or 18, like, what do you guys think? What are your thoughts? I'm just going to go in with the last brush that we used to blend that up and out. I like to keep this area kind of free of shadow as much as possible because it kind of like gives my brow a little bit of a lift. So I try not to go up too, too high with my eyeshadows. <laughs> try. If I sound a little low energy today, it's because I feel super tired. I went to the gym at five o'clock this morning and usually I'm fine, but I went to sleep really late the night before. So I only had like five hours of sleep. So as soon as I got home from the gym at seven o'clock, I went back to bed. Didn't get up until about 11. And so I'm just kind of like feeling weird today. All right, so next I'm going in with my favorite blending brush. This is the MAC 217, and I'm going to go in with this shade in the palette right here, which kind of looks like a dark burnt orange brownie. I don't know. I'm going to tuck that into the outer corner. So I finally get to do Christmas with my family today. Today is Friday, the Friday after Christmas which is pretty good for my family. Usually we don't do Christmas until like February. It's just hard for everybody to kind of come together with, you know, everybody's different schedules and stuff. But I hope that you guys had an amazing Christmas. And I really hope 2018 is going to be good for everyone, including myself. <laughs> All right, to deepen up the outer crease area, I'm going to go in with this shade, which isn't exactly the tones that I was going for, but it's the darker out of the um, palette. So I'm going to go in with this on a Morphe M507, which is a tiny kind of pencil blending brush. I'm going to kind of place this a little bit carefully into this outer V area. I just remembered that I bought a new mic yesterday and didn't put it on. So I just put it on. So if the audio is different, that is why. Hopefully it's better. Because if it's not, I'm taking that mic back. I 
There's definitely fallout with these shadows, so I'd recommend doing your base first. I'm not having a particularly amazing time blending out these darker shades just because they don't have as much like pigment as they look in the pan, and I wanted it to be a lot darker. Yeah, I'm not in love with this shade right here. It didn't do much for me. I'm gonna try doing the same step with the darkest shade, which I'm hoping has some better payoff. I might have to do like a wing liner because my eye keeps watering and now I have a giant dark spot there where my tears are absorbing all the pigmentation. Right now that I have some of that darkness going on, I'm going back in with the shade that I was questionable about on that um, Sigma E45 to try to like blend that out. And grab my first blending brush that we use with the transition shade just to do more blending. This look is a little bit more blown out than I wanted it to be just because I had to like work with those darker shadows so much. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some of this fallout. It's really unfortunate what's happening in this area. On my lid, I'm gonna use this um, gold color simply because it's the only shimmer in the palette. And before I do that, I'm going to prime the lid with my MAC 24 hour prep and prime, what? The MAC prep and prime 24 hour extended eye base. I just take a tiny bit on my finger and just kind of tap it in the area that I know I'm going to put that shimmer. And that just keeps the shimmer from transferring all over my lid because I do have hooded eyes. So I'm going to go in with a flat brush. This is a new um, Morphe brush that I got. My fiance got me a brush set for Christmas but they don't have um, numbers. So I'm gonna wet the shadow because I always wet shimmer shades. They just go on a lot richer and intense. I'm going to pop that on the lid. That shimmer is really nice. Eye is still watering. This It's not a fun time. So I just tried something to try to fix this area um, and I think it's going well. I'm still working on it obviously, but this is an Inglot Duraline. Um, I just kind of scraped off the crusted up shadow that happened when my eye was watering and then I applied a little bit of this once it, my eyelid dried and then I added some shadow on top and it really intensified that so I'm going to do this on the other side as well with a little bit of that Duraline. I'm going to tap in the outer corner just to give something for this to stick to. It will take a little bit longer for me to like get that blended out, but it looks like it's going to give me um, the intensity that I wanted in this outer corner. I'm mixing these two darker shades. I've been off camera trying to work with these eyeshadows. Um, for a minute. My eye is so aggravated. It will not stop watering and it's just ruining everything. Um, there's so much choppiness going on. Pretty aggravated because I don't really like have time to necessarily start over at this point. My eye is hurting pretty bad. I don't know why it's so irritated. One of these shadows does not agree with my eyes, which I'm very sensitive to eyeshadow. So what I think I'm going to do is try to add on a big black liner and if my eye continues to water and it gets ruined then I'll just start over. I'm gonna add more of that gold liner and I added just a little bit of Duraline to it just to make a really sharp line just to kind of make a cut crease divert from this outer area. I just did a cut crease in my last tutorial so I didn't want to do one but here we are. I have kind of an awkward angle going, but I'm going to try to get me doing my wing eyeliner on camera.
All right, so I added on a big wing. Um, the problem I'm having is, is I think maybe the Inglot Duraline that I added with that shimmery shadow, the gold, um, maybe didn't mix well with the MAC 24 hour extended eye base. It's just kind of separating. I keep having to re-add it. So when things go wrong, ladies, add a big black winged liner and add glitter. <laughs> I'm going to take my Stila. This is the, I think it's called, yeah, the Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Kitten Karma. I'm just going to add a little bit of this where the gold is. So just to add a little bit of sparkle, I'm going to not add it directly to my eyelid because it will completely cover everything. I'm going to take a little bit on a little small fluffy brush, hit it a little bit with my hand, and then go in and tap it a little bit on this gold. So that's just going to add a little bit of distraction from what's really happening here. So now that the eyes have kind of ruined my day, I'm going to move on and go on to the face. So like I mentioned before, I have already primed my skin, so my skin's good to go. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Snow, as always. And just because I want to use some products that I have not been using lately, um, because things expire and I don't want to waste my money, I'm just going to bump a little bit of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Champagne Pop into my foundation. I tried using this as a primer yesterday, and no ma'am. Okay, and to conceal and highlight, I'm going in with the Urban Decay. This is the All Nighter Concealer in the shade Fair Warm. I'm still testing out this concealer, not exactly sure how I feel about it. Only thing I can say is that it is very pigmented, um, which is nice. I'm just working on seeing how I like to set it and all that fun stuff. I'm going to get this real close to that wing. All right, so my camera battery died and that concealer does set very quickly. So I went ahead and just blended it out, set it with my RCMA No Color Powder. I have been using this recently, still collecting my thoughts on that as well. Just wanted to let you know what you missed out on. I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush and kind of just try to soften some of this shadow up here. I mean, this makeup tutorial has been an absolute shit show. I haven't filmed in so long. Yesterday was my first time filming in like forever. Um, and I was surprised at how like, you know, well it went. And today, not so much. I have a pounding headache. What else can I complain about? I'm going to take a little bit of this cream matte shade from that palette to see if I can tone a little bit of this down. Let's see. Is that a bad idea? For my bronzer, I'm going in with my tried and true, the Too Faced um, Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I've obviously hit pan. I have a backup already. I just really want to like, I've never used like a whole pan of product before. I've never used this much of a product, period. I really just want to like go through it. So I kind of have to like stamp around to make sure I'm like coating my brush evenly. And this brush is from Morphe. It's the same set I got from my fiance that um, it's not numbered, but the brushes are nice. For my nose, I'm going in with the Laura Geller Balance and Brighten Powder Foundation in the shade Medium. And I just tried to slim out my nose a little bit and mainly just kind of make it match the rest of my face. I don't want to add bronzer to my whole face and kind of like sculpt it out and then leave my nose like one big white blob in the middle of my face. <laughs> I use a powder foundation just because this one is not too dark. I like to kind of run it here too because it kind of makes my nose look a little shorter. I don't hate my nose. It's whatever. Um, I just like to kind of match the rest of my makeup. And I always use the same brush for this Every time, this is a Morphe M534. Now I'm gonna go in with this tiny little Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, and there's like a sharp little edge here that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna add some of my RCMA translucent powder just to kind of bake the side of my nose right where that contour starts. 
So I'm gonna let that sit a while. I'm gonna work on my lower lash line, I believe. For the waterline, I'm going in with my MAC. This is the Costa Riche Eye Coal. Love this. I wish it lasted longer in the waterline, but it is nice. It isn't just like an everyday brown. It really has a more like orangey red tone, um, which really makes lots of different eye colors pop. Like me, I have hazel eyes. It really makes it pop. Blue eyes would be gorgeous. Brown eyes would be gorgeous. And I'm going to run a tiny bit of that right here underneath the lashes and I'll smoke it out just on the outer corner. I think I'm going to go in with this shade on my small little like pencil blending brush. I really like this brush for underneath the lash line. I'm going to go ahead and tight line the upper water line while I'm here. I'm going to tidy my brows up a little bit more with um, some of my dip brow pomade from Anastasia in the shade Blonde. And I'm going to go in with a little bit of the shade Soft Brown as well. Not being too precise, just keeping them a little bit more feathery. Jax is the loudest drinker. I've still been doing the whole soap brow thing, so I'm going to hit my spoolie with some Fix Plus and run it over my bar of soap. You all know about this. I have a video from a while back. Then I brush the hairs up. For blush, I'm going to use a Tarte blush I haven't used in a long time. This is in the shade Irresistible. It was like from a holiday set like two years back, I think. I'm going to top that blush off with a little bit of Luminoso from, what is this from? Uh, I wanted to say Maybelline. It's from Milani. I like to go back with my bronzer blush. Bronzer brush. I do that so much. Just to make sure the blush isn't covering that up. Some of that just got in my mouth and it tastes like straight up chocolate. It's delicious. I'm going to go ahead and dust off this nose bake. My under eyes are looking really dry right now. Like I mentioned in the last video, I don't know whether it's the medication I'm using for my face right now that's making my under eye area dry, or if it's the new Urban Decay concealer that I'm using, or if it's this new RCMA No Color Powder Translucent Powder that I have been using. So to be determined on that. While I'm talking about the powder, I'm going to go ahead and add my big beard to clean up any messy bronzer application which may or may not have happened and as you could notice I um, never added any contour powder I do sometimes but a lot of the time I just do a bronzer and then do this big beard kind of technique that way it creates a little bit of a stronger structure without me having to add such harsh color um, with fair skin it's kind of hard to do that for my face highlight i'm going to take two of the becca powder highlights one in the shade um, champagne pop and one in the shade pearl pearl is straight up white which is amazing since i'm so fair i can just kind of mix it with any highlight color and make it suitable for my skin tone If you ever find that highlighters are making your skin look kind of textured or not like so amazing in person, maybe they look good, it looks good on camera, but not so much in person, I do recommend trying the Becca highlighters and also Laura Geller. Um, they do good like smooth highlights that are still intense. Hit the nose. I'm going to use the same combo on a wet pencil brush. I'm going to spray it with some Fix Plus and then hit it in my inner corners. I'm going to go ahead and set my face. My Max Fix Plus spray bottle legit like hosed my eyeshadow when I filmed last night. So it's in time out. Before I talk about setting my face anymore, I'm going to dust this off because I might forget. That was a close one. Now I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I'm pretty low on this, but the sprayer is not going to like camel spit or weird spit on me. The, the spray is pretty good on these. 
All right, so now I'm going to throw some mascara on my lashes. You guys know how to do that. And I'm going to throw on some lashes. The lashes that I'm using are from Amazon. I don't know the brand, but I will leave a link to them in the description box. All right, lashes are on. I don't really know what kind of lip I want to go for. I've just been into nudes lately. I know it's so boring. I have a little mini set of the Huda Beauty liquid lipstick. So I'm going to mix um, a couple, I think. I'm going to go in with the shade Girlfriend and then the shade Sugar Mama in the center. I like these lipsticks, but they're so liquidy and like so much comes off the applicator. I wish it didn't do that. That was the shade Girlfriend, and I'm going to try to add Sugar Mama and see where it takes this. While this settles and dries down, I'm going to go ahead, change, do my hair, and I'll be back. I think I say I'll be back a lot in this video. I'm so sorry. Alright, I'm back, and I feel like the lip and the eyes are almost like, I don't know, too matchy-matchy, so... I don't know. These are all new lip shades and I honestly am not familiar with them. So I'm just going to keep adding stuff. This is another Huda Beauty one. This one is in the shade Wifey. Alright guys, that is pretty much it. Um, I am running late and I need to leave. So I hope that you enjoyed this um, shit show of a makeup tutorial. <laughs> like I said, I haven't filmed in a while. I haven't worn makeup in a while. So we're just having a time right now, okay? Bear with me. But I hope you guys learned something. Please feel free to leave me any video suggestions in the description box. I'm going to try to just keep pumping out videos. That way I can get back on track, get back into like knowing how to film and good at doing my makeup. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching guys. I always appreciate it and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Um, some stuff is great. Some tests. There was a lot of mishaps that happened. Uh -huh.